no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net Normally I start a moment of clarity with happy thoughts Whimsical fancy men of dancing pygmies And button-nosed teddy bears doing backflips into marmalade waterfalls But not this time This time I come with bad news the jobs aren't coming back. The jobs we're told will come back again and again from red-faced corporate shills trying to be your friends aren't coming back. They're gone for good. They're more gone than Lindsay Lohan's innocence or Ted Nugent's tolerance. And there are two main reasons for this. One is that companies and corporations can make people work for pennies in other countries. And they can do it while blatantly infecting them with cancer or dumping toxic sludge into their drinking water. They can do that stuff here in the good old U.S. of A. as well, but not without people going, hey, this water... Tastes like shit, you fucking assholes! And they get tired of hearing that. And the other reason the jobs aren't coming back is because of technology. Technology advances exponentially, or to put it in easier terms, really fucking fast. And it has been eliminating jobs all the way back to the time of the printing press and the, the, the cotton gin. Hell, even the, the, the first sharpened stone eliminated the jobs of thousands of men who were previously tasked with holding beavers up to trees and, and pleading with the little buggers to chew the thing down. It will only be a matter of years before technology fully replaces jobs like waitress, flight attendant, secretary, cashier, and all the other things that seem to be the only careers left for a lot of people. And some of you may be thinking, oh, thank God, I won't have to deal with fucking bad attitude waiters anymore. But what you don't realize is that the robot waiters will be so good and so perfectly programmed that they will know quite well how to call you a fucking fat bastard and piss robot juices into your French onion soup. But here's the good news. Technology taking away all the jobs should be a good thing. That's right. It should be a good thing. If we were smart enough to create a society that took care of everyone, no matter how much work was available, then technology stealing away work would be something to celebrate. If you had a job working five hours a day as a fluffer on a porn set, and then a machine comes along that looks like a floby but without the blades, and makes it so that you can do all five hours of dick sucking in only four hours, you should simply get paid the same for fewer hours or fewer dicks. But instead, we give that extra money or time to the corporate profits and the CEOs and tell the workers to suck harder for the same pay. And if we don't stand up and change this system, this will continue until one day in about a decade there will be only three jobs remaining. I think I read there'll be a CEO, horse whisperer, and competitive eater. And if you don't have one of those three jobs, you are shit out of luck. The ability to get more work done in less time with less human effort should benefit everyone, especially the workers. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Hey, by buying my brand new live stand-up comedy album, Pepper Spray the Tears Away, you can help keep Moment of Clarity going and get a kick-ass hour of comedy at the same time. You can get it at all the major music sites or directly from me at LeeCamp.net. Also, if you want a free track from the album first, just email your city and state or your country to PepperSprayTheTearsAway at gmail.com. Also, lastly, I'm coming to Los Angeles. I have a couple of shows there in about a week and a half, two weeks. So just go to LeeCamp.net and check my schedule if you want to see me live in Los Angeles. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.